What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Jeff Benjamin with I Download Blog. You see my springboard? It looks normal, nothing out of the ordinary. But let me show you this new jailbreak tweet called Watchboard. It's from Aaron Ash, the same developer that brought us Barrel, which is a legendary jailbreak tweak on Cydia. Now, all you need to do to enable Watchboard is just simply turn on the switch, just like that. Go to your home screen, just like that, and there it is. No resprings required or anything like that. And you can see the Apple Watch UI right there on your home screen absolutely replaces the springboard in favor of the Apple Watch UI inspired home screen. So you can scroll around just by scrolling. You can, of course, use a pinch to zoom in or zoom out. You can, of course, also launch apps as well. So if I wanted to launch, let's see, let's find an app. The App Store, for instance, just launch that. It opens up, zooms in, and then I can use the app as normal no big deal there and then once I'm finished just tap on or press the home button that'll go back to the home screen and once you're there you can of course use one finger to drag around the interface you notice how the app icons zoom in and out depending on their location on the screen uh, you can use that two finger gesture to zoom in or out and you can also tap and hold on the app icon and move it around to reposition the location of app icons. So there is no wiggle mode per se, but you just tap and hold to move it in the area of your choosing. And as you move it, the other app icons will sort of just move out of the way to accommodate the location of the app icon that you're moving. So it's a really simple way to move app icons around without having to have wiggle mode. It just makes a lot of sense with this type of UI. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, where is Spotlight? Well, Spotlight is invoked by using a simple double tap gesture anywhere where there's a blank space. So as long as you're, you're not double tapping on an app icon itself, then you can just double tap anywhere and that will invoke Spotlight so you can perform searches and things like that. And of course the app switcher works as normal, double press on the home button, but notice that the app icons for the app switcher below each card are now circles to uh, fit the overall theme of this Apple Watch UI for the springboard. Uh, but that's not all. There are other options that you're going to find. For instance, landscape support <laughs> right there. For any device that supports landscape mode, you'll see that you can just put your device in landscape mode. The UI will automatically accommodate the landscape mode, and then you can just use your device as normal. Super simple, super easy, and a great implementation. Now, there are other options that you'll see here. For instance, you can turn the circle icons off. You can turn show icon labels off if you want to do that. Now, you just have your standard square or your rounded rectangle icons, and you can just use those like you would with the standard Apple Watch UI um, not a big fan of that just the look of that looks kind of silly but uh, I definitely prefer the rounded icons and you can also disable or turn down the spacing so you can have all the app icons basically on top of one another if you want to do that um, obviously I don't recommend that either but it's uh, nice to have the option to change the icon spacing if you want to and let's go to the other extreme here and you can see they're all really spaced out as well so you can use a pinch gesture to zoom in, you can see the spacing is very, very apparent there. Lots of space between each app icon. So I'm just going to turn that down. Let's make it a middle ground. Um, I do prefer the circle icons. Not sure about the icon labels. I think I do like the icon labels because they do dynamically appear and disappear as you peruse the, uh, the Apple Watch UI landscape here. Notice the app icon labels don't appear for the apps that are zoomed out but they do appear for the apps that are zoomed in. So just a really, really nice implementation of the Apple Watch UI. Probably the best implementation I've seen thus far, but it goes without question that this would be expected. It's Aaron Ash, the developer of Barrel. So there's a lot of uh, experience behind the development of this tweak. You think about Barrel and all of its home screen animations. Well, it just it seems like a perfect fit that the uh, Apple Watch UI would be done by Aaron Ash. If you want to try out Watchboard, you can head over to City's Big Boss Repo and purchase it for $3.99. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownload Blog.